but and you can see still crazy overgrowth it's just there's not really a any section of this that's just not massive overgrowth I mean look at this this is in the middle section still I mean it's just the burn would be the way to go there's no question about it but I don't think that's gonna happen so and we're gonna end up doing a lot of this undercut by hand which is gonna be something in its own right All right. and then here we are we're getting down here close to the end of the middle section and getting to the outer section on the other end of the property that comes out next to the old hunt club which they don't have anymore it's not the hunt club any longer but I guess I think their lease ran out at the end of the year and uh, some new people bought it and I'm not sure what they're gonna do with it I'm sure it won't be skyscrapers though <laughs> and uh, this is the last section of the three two acre wide swaths of section so what we did is we walked this whole road measured it out 440 feet uh, it's well we figured out the we figured out the feet of uh, how long a mile is and then divided that up and since this is a quarter mile long it's pretty easy this road was to kind of work it out it's not exactly but it's pretty close sun's coming up all the animals are starting to get excited their day is about to get going I'll tell you the bees have been working like crazy this morning driving us a little bit crazy at least me I'm awake and Elihu has been awake and he's went back in the tent to get away from the bees but uh so this is uh this is the main road and uh, this is the property and we're getting down here towards the end of it I'm about to run out of my tape and run into where I taped it all good but this is the end of the property right here and you can see where the road comes out goes out into the hunt club area or what used to be the hunt club area again um, that you can see here and that's the road except for down to the main highway the county road um, but this is all from the homestead all the way down and that's a road that's about a quarter of a mile long alrighty so that's what we got going on this is James with the healthy homestead and this is the healthy homestead All right, here we are back down at the old homestead a lot again. I wanted to explain a couple things to you, show you what was up down here. Um, back through here is where the old homestead used to be through this overgrowth. And um, there was a gentleman living back there watching over the property for us, or for Granddaddy Chambliss, a long time ago. And uh, he accidentally burned the old homestead building down. Hey puppy. Hey puppy dog, what you doing? That's a lahing. It's our puppy. Um, little lap dog, hundred pound lap dog. But um so he had burned the he burned the old homestead down. So there's a, absolutely nothing left of the old homestead back there. Um the well that used to be back there has been filled in um at this point, but uh so it's unsafe to even be around. It was a hand dug well probably only about 60 feet deep if I was to guess that's about what they used to dig those um, hand dug wells and lined them with brick and that kind of stuff um, just in relation uh, Neil's across the street his well is 600 feet deep um, to get to where the water table is here so digging a well is a pretty big thing I could dig a 75 foot well myself uh, driving pipe not hand digging but driving pipe um, but 600 feet I can't handle them on and it's too much um, I don't know if you can see there's a, there's a giant old tree right in there um, if you can hear those bees I'm being swarmed around but um that's the kind of 
trees that used to be on this property um, and have been cut down many times for for it's a tree farm you know or was a tree farm it's not a, now it's woods um, but this is the main driveway which um, you can see gets rutted up and has some uh, has a culvert on the side dug in for drainage but it's kind of filled in with trees and stuff and washes down over there is uh, our cousin's property that direction and then um, but so this is the main drive the last time we were here it was raining like crazy in like March and um, John got his truck stuck in this so we had to do two days worth of crazy work down here to get um, to get the section clear so he could get out of there because um, we couldn't use the back entrance at that time and have a way to um, but uh, so this is the main road this also was crazily overgrown um, and completely undrivable when we got here and again Neil being such a, a very helpful person and a good guy came through and with his bush hog and did all this for us which is so helpful it's not even I don't even know how to demonstrate the words <laughs> on our tractor and I'll come through with my tractor later and do a little more work on this road but it really needs some French drains in it um, run over to a culvert on the right side possibly um, or either we could just fill that with uh, gravel which would be a lot of gravel but the French drains would drain into that and keep this road from washing out and you can see over here this was the section that was really stuck and we had to drop some limbs here to fill this in and now that it's all dried out it's quite a little mess but you gotta do what you gotta do to get out when you gotta get out um, but so this road needs some this driveway needs some pretty good work to get it to where it's constantly usable whether it's rainy or dry and that's really optimally what we need is for it to be usable rainy or dry and not just when it's the sun baking down on it this section also had no sun on it because of the overgrowth even in the winter there was no sun so we opened this up just a little bit in this area that time in March to help out with that and it's made a huge difference um, there's no standing water here whatsoever and it has been raining here last week it rained here uh, you know a little bit pretty good a couple days um, and usually that's enough to to fill this completely up so you can see up ahead of us there's the gate way up there Shoop, that's the gate right there and that goes out to the county road that goes in front of our house and then Neil's house is on that road and Mr. McNeil down to the right is on this road he's a real nice fella and we met a couple times back hadn't spoken to him this trip but um, he's he's a real nice guy very helpful as well and then our cousin has a big property on the right hand side um, as well so I just wanted to show you this road this driveway let you see what kind of shape it's in and uh, there you go alrighty this is uh, this is the healthy homestead the old Chambliss land alright